Hi Michelle, big shout out to you and your class. Thanks so much for requesting this video. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. Would you like to help design transport robots that could take people anywhere? Here's a design being developed by Airbus. Here is an incredible team of Australians who have developed a robot base that can be used for many different purposes depending on what type of pod you design and attach on top. Let's practice drawing a bus pod on top of the base because those skills will help you to draw whatever your design is. Let's begin with a starting point. I'm going to measure 10 centimeters across the page and then 4 centimeters up. Now place the tip of the splat on your starting point and mark in a dot at each corner. Now from the right hand dot we're going to slide the splat and make a second dot. I'm going to repeat that, so slide the splat and make a third dot. Good. Now one more before you move it. Go up to the top of that slot and place a dot. That's really important, you'll see in a second. First I'm going to join the first and third dots using a ruler and then I've got two more dots to make the far edge. Cool. You can see we just need to close the ends now and we have a flat surface so it's the base of our design. Halfway in between those two dots place a mark. Let's make it into a little cross because that will be the center of our wheel. Do the same thing at the far end. Halfway, make a cross. Good. This is an ellipse. Move the ellipse so that the cross is exactly in the middle. And then draw in the full ellipse. Notice I keep the splat straight up and down. Now we're going to center that cross and draw the ellipse. That's two wheels and at the back we need a center. So let's position the point on that one and transfer across. That finds the center on the other side. Let's do it again. Straight across, place a mark. Now we're going to draw with the same ellipse, but we're only drawing the top half because the bottom's hidden under the base. Hey, you've done a great job. That looks awesome. In the second video, you'll find that we'll build this up into a more complicated design. Here you see a little look ahead where I'm tracing it over using a felt tip pen. And then I'm rendering or coloring it in. But today, let's stick with our basic drawing. Place a piece of paper over it. If you're finding it hard to see the drawing through the paper, then maybe tape it to a window, if that helps. Uh, so we're tracing that through, really only the two wheels on this side that we'll see once we put the pot on top. So when you've traced as much as you can see there, I'm going to show you three corners. One, two, three and we're going to draw a line straight up and it'll be seven centimeters long and then from the second point we'll do the same and then down to the back connect the top of the lines together and around there And we need the two far edges, so here's my trick. Place that corner of the splat lined up with that point, and at the top of the slot place a dot. And that dot will guide you to the very back corner. Take a look at the blue bus in the top left corner, that's what we're drawing. See how the windows curve and they all end on a line. Let's draw that line in. Halfway between those two points, place a mark, and then half again. So what we'll need to do is draw a line parallel with the first from that point all the way back. And let's do the same thing with that far mark. Okay, that's going to guide us where our windows start. Um, let's see, we need to divide this into thirds or into three. So we'll use the splat once, and then from the back come forwards one splat length and that should still be a splat length in the middle. Great, let's just um, lightly curve that and then when you're happy with the curve darken it in. Same at the back. Let's draw that curved window and now on those two marks your curve should run through it. 
So start from the line and come down through that dot. Great. Then use your ruler and drop that line straight down until it hits the bottom of the bus. I'm sketching in very lightly into that corner and then darken it in. At the very edge of that curve, I'm going to place my rule on it and draw a line. And um, that means I've cut the sharp corner off. It's not there anymore. So let's erase that corner. Now we've got a curvy top on the bus. Great. Uh, some design detail. Let's have somewhere for the uh, bus run and some writing there. And at the bottom, let's draw another line, um, place a little bit of text there. And maybe we could um, have a little strip of LED lights. Not that the robot will need them, but people will need to see something coming towards them, perhaps. Uh, the wheel. Place your pen or pencil there and then draw a line which gives some thickness to the wheels. So instead of them looking like flat wheels, now they look like tires. And then copy the ellipse a little bit smaller. Go really lightly. When you've got it smooth, then come back and draw in the inside of the tire. I'm aligning that little ellipse and I'm touching right at the edge and drawing that in. Watch at the back. Right there is where that small ellipse is going to touch. Good. And this stops the wheels rubbing on the metal. And we could just call it a mudguard, I suppose, or a wheel well. Okay, so where's the window come down to? Let's draw a line. Let's pick a line there. That's my windows. The design of your vehicle will depend on what it's supposed to do. If we're supposed to get people in as gently as we can, then maybe a big long door could drop down. What about as quickly as possible? Maybe a slide with a hatch on top and there's the occupants sliding down into the bus. What about the wind and the rain? We might need to keep the people enclosed as they drop down into the bus. Now, it may seem like a silly idea, but it does show my point that you really have to look at the purpose for your vehicle to help you design what it's going to look like. A more traditional sort of door might open outwards like that. And I'm using some tracing paper just to sketch some ideas over the top. If you don't have tracing paper, then just use paper over the top. These are called concepts. In the end, I think I'm going to go with the drop-down door design. Um, might be great for elderly or for wheelchairs to get into. How would it look if it was open? Well, I'm just going to draw some curves at the top. So the top of the door lifts upwards. That might keep rain off the people while they're hopping in and out of the bus. And then the bottom section is going to drop down. So let's take that line off. And I'm just drawing a random angle line. As long as those two are parallel and one at the bottom on the splat angle. Inside we're drawing some seating and some people on their seats or standing and holding on or entering or leaving. The wheels look really good if you darken in between the tire and the wheel well. It also gives some contrast to your drawing. Watch as I draw a different pod design to go on top. We're starting with exactly the same base but the shape is different and I'm really interested. I'm excited to see what designs you come up with for your robot vehicle. All depends on the function of it, doesn't it? And what it's supposed to do. This one looks like it's designed to carry something in the back because it's going to have a hollow back like a utility or a pickup. What about if I needed one for tighter spaces? The wheels need to be closer together. So I'm starting a new tracing here, but instead of the wheels being that far apart, bring the splat forwards. Close together wheels mean it can turn easier. I wonder what this one will be designed for. It's fairly boxy at the front, but maybe this is just the crate or like the box that I'm imagining the design will fit inside. Remember that little trick at the top of the slot? Pick that spot and there's your far corner. For instance, what about if this one needs to have maximum space? It's not very rounded. It probably doesn't go very fast. 
Um, it looks fairly solid and chunky. This one is designed to go through bushfires. So for rough roads, we have a bigger wheel well, so the wheels can bounce up and down and chunky tires. Big door for quick access. And if it needs um, a cooling spray of water, then maybe it could pump water from on top. If you've enjoyed drawing and thinking of ways to solve problems, then you may be an engineer. I've really enjoyed drawing along with you today. Can't wait to see your designs. Tune into video two if you'd like to draw a blank base in more detail or a quadcopter pod for on top. I'm Glennie D. See you in video two. Bye for now.